cities designed to meet your needs and your budget. It's Medicare made in Minnesota, trusted everywhere. Find a plan that's right for you at Yeah, yes. it's, it's even more terrifying. I, I can play the audio for it, but when you see his face do it, it's really something. Bill Skarsgård's audition for the role of Pennywise. It's nice, Bo. Looks well. I'm Bob Gray. Pennywise to my friends. What do we call you? Georgie. Georgie. Wow. You got to see it. He drops that lip. I know. Oh, yeah. He has very uh, distinct features anyway. Yeah. Right? Kind of sharp features. He, he's he got an awkward face. Not like, I'm not saying he's not an attractive guy. He's just, very, it's very defined. Like, oof. So it made sense to put a little clown makeup on him and make him yeah. terrifying. Yeah. And he's terrifying. I think he's more terrifying without the makeup on. Yeah. And isn't he the crow? Yeah. That's that's why I, yeah. I looked it up. I think I saw yeah. the photo of him yesterday. I thought it was him. Yeah. And it, is, it uh, looks terrible. Yeah. It looks like somebody's dressed up as the crow for Halloween, not an actual crow mm. reboot, you know? Yeah. It looks like they meat sauced it. I don't yeah. think a lot of people saw the original film. I really don't. I didn't, and I lived right through yes. that. Yes. Right. You didn't yeah. see that? Never no. saw it, I no. feel like that'd be right up your alley. Well, it, I don't know. It was one of those things that uh, it just didn't look good to me, so it was giant cult following, right? A lot of yeah. people love that yeah. movie. Um, I was aware of it, just never saw it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, people are saying that it's weight. I think the bit on the internet is people are saying it's basically jared leto's joker that he looks just like it that mm -hmm. they just ripped that off hmm. where know. would you say when i say right up your alley yeah oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. right specifically you Corey. where do you where do you picture your alley being oh, mm. good point um i don't want to ask zach i but would I say will ask you my alley is alley the McBeal. first exit out of a convention center ballroom at a casino that i just got knocked out of a poker tournament oh. And I go out in the alley, and <laughs> Bro, was, uh, I yell the laughing. F word as loud as possible, and then I just uh, slowly slide my back down the wall and just sit in silence for about thirty minutes, yeah. crying, yeah. Hands contemplating, yeah. why am I making all these life choices? Buddy. Why can't I just get lucky once? You're gonna make Rosie kiss himself. <laughs> yeah, Rosie is. Oh, there it went. So yeah. my oh. alley, I would assume, is a, a casino alley where I'm crying. Absolutely, like it's a monsoon. Rosie can't laugh anymore. No, yeah, he's he's got the hiccups. That's my alley. <laughs> That's right up my alley. Yeah. Heartbreak and casinos. I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know where Chris's alley is. Yeah, or you can imagine Tommy's it's alley. Filled. Oh, a lot of skanks. Um, also, uh, since Richard Lewis passed away, there's uh, believe it or not, Candid Camera. You guys are familiar with that show, oh, right? yeah. Candid Camera. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in 1964, he was 16 years old. He was going to high school at Dwight Morrow High School in New Jersey. And they sent the candid camera crew in to talk to him. And they fooled him uh, into thinking uh, uh, that they had done tests on him and found out what he needed to do for a living. Listen, this is Richard Lewis. And you got to watch it. It's easy to find. Um, candid camera with Richard Lewis in 1964 when he's 16 years old. Richard, I've gone through your DAT and your other records in school. In fact, we've been going through all of the records in school for the past three and a half weeks now. And uh, I've come to the very definite and firm conclusion that you would be perfectly suited for manual labor. Say <laughs> manual labor? Yes. Manual labor. <laughs> See, I never thought I was suited for manual labor. I mean, no intelligence, just manual labor. He's talking what to a friend here. Said to me? He says, I went to all your records in high school. He says, I know what you can do for a living. I said, what? She's so going to be manual labor. Put it on. Put it on. 
<laughs> it's great. I can't yeah. believe that's really him, yeah. man. Wow. Mm. And he looks just like him. And he takes it as if he's a comedian. Yeah. That's great. That's man. great. That kind of thing was phased out by the time we got to school. I, I never had a guidance counselor say, say, like, you should go into blank, right? Like, they, they, I you never didn't? had. No. You didn't take those, like, placement tests in mm-hmm. high school? No. Those, like, apt- was it aptitude tests? I don't mm-hmm. think so. Because I don't ever remember having a conversation where somebody said, you should go into this yeah. field, this field, or this field. It was just. I mean, they were. They, we had guidance counselors. If you're like, "Hey, I want to go into this. Where do I go? Yeah. Or what, what school should I go to?" But I don't remember ever being told. Yeah, they didn't waste their time with you. Exactly. You Sausage, you know? <laughs> Hello. Well, but I mean, did your school, not you personally? Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. I they. Think, yeah. I think they knew where you were headed. Mm. Yeah, and as I always say, you and I do the same job. Kind oh, of. Ouchie. What do they? What do they say to you, Sauce, when you like? You have food all over your face. Well, yeah. like, well, you, you can't be an accountant, right? Okay, you're not going to be an engineer. Oh. You're not going to be a, a medical doctor. Um, oh. Certainly, no. we figured out just by knowing you, manual labor is not going to work out. That's a good point. What's left What's for left? sauce? We wanted to be a catcher. I wonder if this is the <laughs> only job that was left. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've seen you That's play left. Have. We've yeah. seen you play left tackle. You're not playing yeah, at Notre right. Dame. No. Right. No. Yeah, I think that's when they. they this is it. They rolled this you is the only thing I got. You to uh, Tom Bernard at that point. Yep. That's a guy in media that really gets it. He does. You know who I can't stand in media? Go ahead. You. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, she. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. It's time for Fan 5, brought to you by Builders and Remodelers. Hey, thanks, Builders and Remodelers. Hey, thanks, Builders and Remodelers. Wolves won last night, 110-101 over the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies are terrible, but they led 14-0. But the Wolves stormed all the way back because of Ant in the third quarter. He had scored 17 yeah. points in the third. Dunked on everybody. Uh, the Wolves lead the West by a half a game over Idle OKC. They're two games up on Denver, four games up on the Clippers. The Wolves host Sacramento <laughs> at 7 o'clock on uh, Friday, I believe. Well, um, come on in. I did get one offer on Twitter for one of the, my aunt bobbleheads. Oh, how much? Didn't say. Just said he would buy it. Hmm. Oh. Oh, if, again, if he wants to send me a thousand dollars, he can have one of the four oh, aunt bobbleheads jackpot. I got. I have four of them. I have a Home Alone Lego set. Nobody wants. I have I'm something. An offer. I have a boat. <laughs> seal, seal. Uh, accepted. <laughs> wow. That was a long oh, zipper, wow. too. I'm going to have, have six minutes of fun, and I still have three ant bobbleheads uh, left. Uh, six I a, minutes? I have a Home We're Alone Lego times. set. Oh. I have 13 or 14 Mark Jackson Menendez Brothers cards. What? I think I have two of those golden McNugget buddies. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that? Just I'm holding gonna, on to them. I'm going to Google that. Golden. Do you have any feet picks? Come on. Zach. Calm down, Zach. Zach, if you keep talking about drugs and OnlyFans, they're not going to let you do Let's Play Hockey on Sunday. Wow. This is not the week. Yeah, be to, cool, to man. 100 bucks, man. 100 bucks for one of those cool. golden McNugget buddies? Yeah. How many do you have? Two. You want one? Hundred bucks. I'll give you fifty dollars cash. Hundred. That's my first offer. That that means you have that has to be your minimum. First and final, huh? First and yeah, final. Yeah, fifty bucks. bucks. Ca- I'll give you cash for it. I, oh, I don't yeah. care if it's cash or Venmo or Doge. I want a hundred dollars worth. What the hell would I do with this thing? Flip it. A couple ideas. And after you flip it a couple Jesus. times, then what do you do with it? Do you want my aunt bobblehead for a thousand dollars? No. No. Nine hundred. No. Oh, certainly not. Eight fifty-five. You love dogs. It has his dog, too. Ant Jr. Yeah, I love dogs. So why would you want uh, Ant Jr. and Ant as a bobblehead? Uh, ooh, $70 on eBay. Yeah, I'll give it to you for 700 No, I'll just buy this one for 60 on a website called <laughs> Mercaser. What is it? Murder. Merkin? M-E-R-C-A-R-I. Merkscary. What do you think that is? I don't know. One more Mer- time. Mercury? M E R? Yep. C A R I. Okay. Go for it again. Mer Carry. Okay. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'll buy that. Mercury? I don't, know. I don't know. Do you know? No. Website man? I know it's not Mercury. What is it? I don't know. Never heard of that website. Yeah, before. I haven't either. But uh, 60 bucks. Give her hell. Yeah, give her hell. Yeah. Uh, the Wild are at Nashville tonight at 7 o'clock. Hey, go on in, Giant guys. game for the Minnesota Wild. No more home games until Sunday. Oh, yeah, for Zachy. Yeah, Zacko does lots of play. He sure does. A couple of big games this weekend. Actually, three of them total starting tonight. And uh, got to get 
Got to get all the points. Got to get them. Got to win. Have you decided your tone and energy level for Sunday? Mm-hmm. Are you going to practice just, it? Are you going to do it just like everybody say it with me? Let's play hockey. Or are you going to lose your mind like a frat boy? Like, are you going Mason Shaw on this? Are you going to go like, you know, pump up the crowd and climb up on that like railing and fist pump? What are you doing? Have you thought about? How all in you're going here? I think we're going to, it's going to be a controlled explosion. Oh, Dear God. Wow. That was the worst possible that, way to describe oh, that. Wow. Sweet release, huh? Oh, yuck. Yuck. Ryan Carter, yeah. When Ryan Carter Icky. was here for the Yucky. big reveal on Tuesday, Yucky. he said he wants you on the Mount Rushmore. That's that's, that's the goal. He mentioned P.J. Fleck. We Yucky. talked about T.J. Hawkinson, Mason Shaw. Right? There's some epic, energy-filled... Let's play hockey. Now, energy is not a word that's thrown around with you a lot, Zacho. Right. I'm just trying to get to, I want to get Mason Shaw, but I don't want to get to like Howard Dean level where it's just, hmm. You know, it'd be great for the, the show, though, if you guy? went Howard Dean level. Yeah. Yeah. What if we're gonna you dressed get that up bite? something similar to what Jason Kelsey did at the Super Bowl parade? Can you do something like that? Because yeah. that's like a wear an gr- outfit. That's a green outfit. That's a, that's wild colors. You could do something like that. I could, yeah. I mean, like a magi. I, I, that's yeah. true. Are you gonna wear your Walt Disney World hat? Probably not. Uh, probably wear a wild hat. But uh, yeah, I also I have to work too. So like I have to anything I wear. Work I, is secondary. Yeah, yeah work care. is secondary. Down you you got to nail this. Who are yes. they playing? They're playing uh, the San Jose Sharks. How much would we have to crowdfund for you to wear a San Jose Sharks hat? Um, I don't think they'd let me do no, that. No, they won't let them do that. So, mm-hmm. And why would you want to do that? We're trying to sabotage this. They don't sabotage him. It's a nice thing. I hope you do a great job. Have they ever pulled <laughs> this honor away from somebody? Have they ever said like, uh, hey. Kind of. Um, the one that Zach got passed over for nobody, they did kind of pull it away from somebody. Did they not, Zacho? Uh, he just wasn't there. Well, <laughs> oh. my guess is they might have pulled it away from him for the reason that he wasn't there, right? Uh, probably. Was that no Cosby? didn't help. Yeah. What's so. the story? So you've got the rest of this show and tomorrow to be, <laughs> to not say anything to jeopardize. It's Juice and it's Lucy. Oh. I'm, I'm terrified. Like, on the roads, I'm, like, extra careful. Like, there was a tow truck. Yeah, last night. You're worried about getting in a car accident. Absolutely. 100%. Wow. I'm just trying to make it to Sunday. And then after that, it's whatever. So if you die in a car wreck Monday, yeah. you will have lived a worthy life. <laughs> Did everything I needed to do. Aww. Turned out to be Rosie. No, Rosie. Oh, Rosie's What happens here, to buddy. your bucket list when your entire bucket list is gone Careful. after Sunday? Careful. Uh, it becomes like a little like mini pale list. So what's on the pale, pale list? Oh, boy. Um, probably calling the attorney on TV. Um, that'd be cool. <laughs> going to New York. I'd like to go Call to New York. Attorney. See New York. <laughs> I don't know. Call Jack Prescott. He's I don't dead. Know. Um, you say, oh, the attorney. That's about it. Why are you calling an attorney? Yeah, why are you calling an attorney? <laughs> Just ask my dad. The attorney. That's what they no, call it. High school no. hockey tournament. Sky oh, Uma. The attorney. The attorney. Sorry. Not in a- is that a lawyer? Not, you're not talking about lawyer. No, huh. no, not, not yet. Because it did sound like you said. It did sound like yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. you can do that anytime. Since yeah. Tuesday, have you reached out to Aaron Sickman and said thank you for I getting did. over the Ebola thing? Thank I'm you. Sorry, I said that the power play is like Ebola. Yeah. What a thank ride you for yes. giving me a second chance. Yes. See, now you're gonna start to ruin it again for him. Yeah. Don't do that. I mean, we don't need to bring Wait, up. Who? You, you are his proverbial dump oh, truck. Oh, right Aaron now. Sickman is a very uh, forgiveful person, right? He uh, he for he forgave and forget. Yeah. Right. He forgot no, he's, everything he's awesome. about everything I, yeah, you said about the Ebola. He's been great. Um, no, he, he's he helped me with. Uh, he got me a picture with me and my favorite wild player uh, last summer on the ice. He helped with that. I mean, it was he's been great. So I'm hoping, like I said, like Ben said, I should say, um, just don't say anything stupid in the next couple of days. I yeah. think I'll be good. I don't. And then th- and then on Monday you can go back to if, if they lose and they lose badly on Sunday they can go back to ripping them on Monday. Yeah, rip away. Yeah, rip away. <laughs> I don't like ripping them. Zach, what, what do you think of weed? Do you love doing weed? I think if you're a responsible adult in the state that uh, has legalized it and you do it yeah, responsibly. How much do you dabble on the website OnlyFans? Ah, uh, it's a great website for food uh, creators and uh, other people who uh, like to create content and uh, allow. People to support them directly uh, financially because the uh, online advertising space is uh, very competitive and very hard to uh, support these. Oh, gross. Do you actively pay for foot pictures? 
Uh, oh, n no. I mean, I'm not going to judge you if you do, but uh, I, I, that is not my uh, cup of tea. Paul, your hands up. What do you think of male armpits? Male armpits. Uh, good part of the body. One of the... Everybody's got two of them usually. I would just plead the fifth on some of those until yeah. Monday, especially yeah. the armpit one. Yeah, just because we that. know how you feel about those. Uh, more with Ben Lieber, including headlines after this. This is the Power Trip Morning Show on the Fan. Papa Murphy's Triple Pet Pizza is the perfect harmony of mini cup pepperoni, classic pepperoni, and giant pepperoni, all on one delicious take and bake pizza. Order it today for just $12.99 before it's gone. Hey, it's Meat Sauce for my wonderful friends at St. Croix Casino Turtle Lake. They're the absolute best. I love that place. Why? Because it's the shortest... For all the sports betting you want to do, some basketball coming up. There's some cool golf tournaments coming up. Go bet on all that at St. Croix Casino Turtle Lake. Find out all you need at GoPlayWin.com. St. Croix Casino Turtle Lake. Find your fortune. Bye. In sports, success is about team effort, and the same is true for your hair. At Brand Are you looking for ways to elevate your business through premium headwear and apparel? At Branded Bills, we focus on attention to detail, in-person customer experience, and quality craftsmanship to provide a finished, customized product for any occasion. Our core belief is to create out-of-the-box products that enhance the value of your personal brand or business. We offer low minimum orders, unique design applications, and completed custom products in as quick Quick as two weeks. To find out more, visit brandedbills.com. Tasty food trucks. Grab a friend and join the fun at the new Up North Expo, March 1st through 3rd, Minneapolis Convention Center. Hi, it's Chris Hockey, the Power Trip Morning Show for Builders and Models at buildersandmodels.com. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what are you going to get done to the house this year? Maybe, uh, maybe finally you're going to need new windows. Maybe you're going to get that siding completely change the look of your house. Well, uh, you know, and you, 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 maybe you haven't had a chance, or maybe you're thinking about it. maybe yeah, it's home show season, right? You know, you go to the home show, you look at all, you get all the ideas and stuff like that. Maybe you don't have time. That's right. You can still take advantage of those home show special savings by going to buildersremodelers.com. Uh, whether you're doing roofing, uh, siding, doors, windows, whatever you got, like uh, check this out. Buy one window, you get your second window half off. Plus, you get home show special savings of an additional. $50 Fifty dollars off on each Elements Triple Panes window, which is the highest rated window in the industry. I love them. You will too. Uh, best products, great prices, professionally installed by builders or modelers for more than seventy years. That's buildersremodelers.com. Nobody does it better. Don't miss By the Yards preseason sale going on now through March fourth. Order early and be summer ready with new maintenance free outdoor furniture backed by a thirty five year warranty. Explore new arrivals at By the Yard showrooms in Jordan, Woodbury, and Maple Grove, or shop at bytheyard.net slash preseason. The guaranteed cash offer is filled with benefits that you will love. Hi, I'm Chris Lindahl, and I want to share with you a short list of just a few things you don't have to worry about when you get an offer from us. There are no commissions, no repairs, no decluttering, and no showings. It's that simple. We'll even give you a cash offer the same day we meet. If you need to sell fast, March is on. The 2024 TIAA Big Ten Basketball Tournaments take over Minneapolis as the Target Center hosts the annual celebration of Big Ten hoops. The women's tournament runs March 6th through the 10th, and the men's tournament tips off March 13th through the 17th. Tickets are on sale now, so head to Big10.org for more information. Be there this March as the conference's best teams compete for a Big Ten tournament title in Minneapolis. All price to move. These deals are insane, and it starts this weekend only at Warner Stallion Appliance Stores. You're free now. Free to stream beyond your wildest dreams. Free to be everything you imagine, and then some. That's how it feels to have Quantum Fiber. Your world unleashed. Learn more at quantumfiber.com. Limited availability. Service in select locations only. You can get Raising Cane's chicken fingers, and you can get them fast because they are always cooked to order. Uh, they are ready to serve you as fast as they can, whether it's the drive through the Raising Cane's mobile app or RaisingCanes.com. You can order ahead and get in and out of there fast at Raising Cane's. So the best chicken fingers on the planet are the ones at Raising Cane's. They have Texas toast, which is just sick. It's so good. Uh, the crinkle cut fries are phenomenal. I love the, uh, the lemonade. Marnie loves the sweet tea. Everybody loves Raising Cane's. But if you want it fast, 
Uh, go today to one of these 17 Twin Cities locations. Uh, get that box combo, the Caniac combo. I go no slaw, extra toast, but you do you. Uh, I think coleslaw is rabid puke, but if you like it, fine, go for it. Uh, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Raising Cane's, one love. Now back to the 651 Carpets Plus, home of the next day in Saul Studios. It's the power trip on the fan. The power trip hits the road to Treasure Island Resort and Casino on March 28th. And March 29th, join us in the Parlay Lounge on the 28th from 7 to 9 p.m. What? As we play games <laughs> for great prizes, including a mock initials game for a trip to Las Vegas. Then stick around for Friday morning as we broadcast Why? live from TI and host the first initials major of the year with a giveaway to Vegas on the line. For more yep. info, head over to KFan.com keyword calendar. Johnny John Creasel making his major debut on March 29th. He Not died. this. He's good at initials. He could win. He could be a major winner. It was terrific. Oh, well, thanks, Jerry. Good to hear from you. Jerry Lewis died. What? A while ago. Yeah. Richard Lewis died. Oh, that no. That is also and true now, why? unfortunately. The pan of kuchen hoos. Um, man, I love bread. I, I love that. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. does Jerry. And I used to love the Jerry Lewis telethon. You sure did. It was a whole bunch of... I bet Richard Lewis was on that. That was kind of the yeah. person, you know, like uh, sitcom stars, comedians. Those are the kind of people that would pop up on Jerry Lewis's uh, Labor Day telethon. And I'd be like, hey, there's Richard Lewis. And I'd be like 10 years old going, I don't even know what he does, but I'm watching this for 24 straight hours. I am tired. And I would get tired and I would just freaking wait for Ed McMahon to do the old tote board. Uh, yeah. See how many millions of dollars they had raised. The tote board? The tote board. Tote yeah. board. Gotcha. Yeah. The toe oh, board is the toe. Brilliant. The toe board is what uh, Zach yeah. Yeah. does on his OnlyFans. Yeah, stuff. He's a member. He's actually been yeah. elected to vice president. Is that, the wow. yeah. is that the new way to raise money for charity? Yeah, it's yeah, like a charcuterie. Yeah. You just put a bunch of toes on a nice little yep. wooden slab and take oh. pictures. <laughs> so you get a little variety of a whole bunch of different kind of toes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did I just come up with a great idea? No. no. Toe no, charcuterie? That sounds gross. So what, like a like a ransom note of toes? You just like clip no, out different toes. No, no, you and don't put clip like... off the toes. You just like have people set their feet around the outside of the oh, charcuterie gotcha. board. So it's it's feet that are attached yeah. to human beings, but their toes are on the board. So and then you play a game get... of like beat the biscuit or what? Dear God, what oh. now? Wow, yeah, man, gonna play that later. Well, with who? Hawk? <laughs> Tommy's certainly played that. Yeah, one thousand percent. That poor biscuit. Yeah. Oh. Biscuits and gravy. Uh, you oh, thought I sitting in the middle seat was rough. Probably took the last one. <laughs> Ace. Oh. oh, Zachy. <laughs> Zachy. A spice jet passenger had the crappiest flying experience ever. A what? Spice, spice jet? jet? Spice jet, yes. What the hell is what spice is jet? Where is that from? Let's find out together. That was probably launched when the Spice Girls were dominating and they uh, branded themselves to have spice jets. Could be. Could be. Um... He was trapped in the laboratory for nearly the entire flight. Uh, the budget airline said in a statement, uh, the unnamed flyer reportedly went to use the laboratory shortly after takeoff on a one hour and 45 minute flight from Mumbai to Bengaluru. However, when he tried to leave after doing the business, the door wouldn't open due to a lock malfunction. So he was trapped in there. The crew and other passengers desperately tried to... Uh, uh, to Get him out of there. They couldn't do it. So they slid a note under the door. Sir, we tried our best to open the door. However, we could not open it. Do not panic. We are landing in a few minutes. So please uh, close the commode lid mm. and sit on it. <laughs> Patsy, oh. do not panic. Button bar. I would definitely have panicked. If you're close to landing, though, yeah. that doesn't sound like a nightmare of a flight. I mean, that's He probably... was in there for an hour and a half. Yeah, that's still yeah. not, I mean, it's not like a 10-hour international flight. It's not like oh, Ben flying back gross, from Hawaii. Though. That's gross, but it's, I, Even, don't, I don't know. It's a tiny little space. That'd be the problem I'd have. Yeah, uh, if you're claustrophobic. claustrophobic. Yeah, man, that'd yeah. be, that'd you be get, tough. You get tossed around a little in there, too. Yeah, well, if you're lucky. Oh. Yeah. And, and you're on Spice Airlines. Yeah, Spice Airlines. Yeah, yeah. It's one thing if I got stuck in the in the commode on a Delta flight. I'm like, yeah, these guys got it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd be a nice soft landing. No big deal. Right. Spice Jet. Or yeah. if you're on like Annie Ann's Airlines. Yeah. Where you know it just smells like buttered pretzels. You're like, this is going to be well, fine. Well, then you'd never get off. I'd never. I'd, yeah. I'd I probably would. Well, you would. You, well. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to quit God. giving all these ideas yeah. away for free, man. I know. Yeah, I, nobody listens to me. A pretzel-based airline. <sighs> Can you imagine if that was, would you like a Biscoff or an Annie Ann's pretzel? 
Oh, I'd like to bisque off all right. Oh, God. <laughs> Your mic's on. We were just talking about that. So stupid. This show's dumb. Should we do headlines? Whatever. <laughs> Let's do headlines. Uh, brought to you by our friends at Wolf River Electric. You can go uh, solar with Wolf River Electric. It's a lot easier than you think. They'll walk you through the process and help you out. Wolf River Electric. Um, the odds of having a birthday on February 29th are about 1 in 1,400. So about 4 million people worldwide are leap day babies. Yeah, my million. buddy's one. All right, not that it matters. Would you guys celebrate your birthday on non-leap year days on the 28th or March 1st? I'd go March 1st. Yeah, I'd go March 1st. Mm. Why? Why was that such a quick answer? You still want to be at the end of the month? I feel like you were born after the 28th. Yeah, so that's true. I would say I whatever that. comes after the 28th yeah. okay. would be the day I was born on. So I would say that I would identify more with March 1st than I would yeah. with February 28th. Because then you yeah. could say you're a spring birthday. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. It feels better. March 1st feels better than February 28th. Mm. Mm. I'd, I'd, just, I'd take both months. Yeah. Yeah. Or would you celebrate both days? Both. If you're rosy, yeah. Yeah. Then you celebrate all week. Regardless. Think, yeah. think yeah. if Lake was born Do. on a leap day. Do. 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 Uh, an Ohio woman claims her Stanley Cup saved her life after a stray bullet was shot into her home and this, uh, the cup escaped with just a small blemish. Oh, oh thank God. Yeah, is the cup okay? Yeah. <laughs> so her Stanley saved her life. Yeah. There were two girls in there. But only one cup. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And honestly, until about a week ago, that was the grossest right. thing I'd ever heard. Yeah, no doubt. Nah, it's still number one. It's uh, still number one, but yeah, it's close. Just barely. But it, no, uh, no, no. Yeah, it's number but, one. But, no, no, but no, as we yeah, always say, one. it's worse if there's a video of it. No, no, if there's no, a video no. of the other bit, that's you have one. Speaking of videos, did, am I the only sure one that saw this? Stuff. Did you guys see the naked woman in yeah. Venice Beach? Go on the rampage. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah. I did. It was on TMZ. Am yesterday. I the yeah. only one who spent an hour trying to find a version that the wasn't free <laughs> Uh So she... <laughs> she looked pretty good. I mean, she must have been on drugs, correct? Yeah, probably. She's parties, yeah. man. Yeah, so she parties. Ben, Ben's Ben's can you pull it up? I have not seen this She's yet. completely naked. And somebody had a medieval-style spiked club. Obviously. And a gal was swinging it at her. At yeah. one point, though, the was naked gal gets a hold of it. And then the other gal has some kind of a sword, and they're fighting. Yeah. And then at the end, she gets both. She has both the sword and the clubbed yep. spike club in her hands. So it looked like somebody might have had a hatchet around there, too. <laughs> so naked beast LARPing? Jeez. Anybody? No? Didn't. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, we it's all. pretty good. Is this a joke? <laughs> Wow, she actually looks like somebody you would. Want I told you. To I mean, she's wow. thin. Yeah, she's in decent shape. Can she's you a find psychopath. the non blurred out? I version? looked everywhere. You have <laughs> no idea. The man. day or two days ago was headbutt yeah. videos. Yesterday, yeah. I was trying That's to find butt creepy, videos. That, of course, is Hawk's thing women fighting naked. <laughs> uh, they don't have to be naked. <laughs> uh, speaking of that. Uh, wow, by the way, if, you, if you've girl. never been to Venice oh. Beach, man, you just never know what you're going to oh, see. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It is a freak show. Everybody's yeah. on drugs. Yeah. It's awesome. Did what you were going to say, Sauce? You're you in a transition. see the bit? I think it was a couple days ago. Kanye's wife yeah. showed up to the, I think it's like the Paris fashion show, and wearing like a fur coat and then just sheer stockings. Yeah. That's it. That's it. You could see all of it. Yeah, you could see uh, all of what the though? plumbing. Her, oh, all really? of it. Yeah. Every the part as hockey would say that makes her a girl. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. Yeah. She, now, did uh, you find it uncensored of that hawk? Oh, sure did. It is crazy how many <laughs> oh, sure features did. she has, even facially. That she is kind of a Kim clone. He yeah. definitely said, uh, "Hey, if I can't have you, I'm going to find the closest thing if I can't to have you." you. Yeah, he's I got a tight. He's got a tight nobody, guy. baby. Okay. All right, let's talk Wendy's for a second, right? Because they've been in the the, uh, the news the last couple of days. Oh, yeah. So you heard the surge pricing theory, right? That mm -hmm. Wendy's was going to put all these digital boards in, and they were going to implement a surge pricing strategy where if it's super busy, if it's the uh, the peak time, you might see an increase in prices. Well, word got out that that was the case, and uh, Wendy's is saying, "Well, that's not exactly what we were going to do." Let me tell you what they say, and you can tell me whether or not you believe they're, uh, they're backtracking. In a statement, they said, quote, we wouldn't raise prices when our customers are visiting us most. This could allow us to change 
uh, the menu at different times of the day and offer discounts, particularly in the slower times of day. Oh, yeah, so that sounds right. They're flipping it to say, no, 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 you just assumed we were going to overcharge you when it was busy. They're saying when it's a little bit slower, they're going to entice people with deals. They should, like, That's do that, like, oh. like, find, like, a couple of hours a day where it's slower and just make people happy. Oh. Call it, like, a happy hour. Hmm. Zach, you know how you just said I have a lot of good ideas and I give them out for free? Mm-hmm. How about none Keep of trying. your ideas between now and Sunday at 6? So the Wild don't uh, take Let's Play Hockey away. Yeah, from. don't do that. You know what's great about that little drop-in that he had there? Mm, nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it, was, it was something. What? Um, he's over here watching some guy at a UFC fight in Mexico get knocked out. So he, he's watching, like, fight films. Yeah. <laughs> they had money. A little headbutton. A little headbutton. And then, he, and then he just drops that happy hour plug in. It uh, auto played from the mm-hmm. Venice Beach lady, and I don't know. <laughs> what a, what a botched week though for Wendy's. Let's say let's give them the benefit of the doubt, even though I think this is just backtracking. But let's for a second say this is exactly the truth that they weren't going to overcharge us during peak times. They were always going to try to lure us in during the slower times with discounts with dynamic pricing, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, did they botch the rollout then? Mm-hmm. Right? They, you got to yeah. use the right words. You got to find a way yeah. to get this out. By saying, hey, when it's slow, we still want you to come in. So we're going to start offering discounts. So come check out our new digital boards that we're going to spend tens of millions of dollars on all over the country to get our restaurants all spiced up. They, you know, get the press release to be a little clearer. Yeah, yeah there's no they, there's no way this is real. They would not have made that mistake. Right. The, the, because the opposite makes them look brilliant. Looks Correct. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is the yeah. opposite. It got everybody pissed. Yeah. Pissed. Yeah. Yeah, can you Correct. imagine discount on Frosty and Fries at, like, their downtime? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Flocking there, Yeah, right? I'm yeah. on my way now. Yeah. Yeah. On my way. I'll be right there. I'm on my I'm way. I'm on my way. Oh, my God. You know what I think I got figured out for us, by the way, guys? And nobody will care but me and Saucy. Oh, neat. I believe I got us a pre-screening of the new Roadhouse movie. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, can you? Yes. Yeah, just for us and our listeners. Did you get one for the new Kong Godzilla movie? Or I'm is working that on that, only but you and I can go see they're, it. They're charging me $100,000 and I, they won't take a check. <laughs> that's sweet. That movie's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great. I can't wait. Have you seen the uh, thing for it there, uh, Ben? I have not seen the trailer for it. Uh, General Hall's all jacked up. And the bad guy is bad. Conor McGregor. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. why I've yeah. seen Yeah, I've seen yeah, like, some of the guy. social media deals. Yeah, he can't, and, and General Hall keeps jumping on him. So what's he do? He's got to beat him off. He has to. You don't let a guy jump on you like that without beating him off. You don't. You can't. Right. In a poll in 2020, <laughs> 59... Thanks for your support. 50, yeah. <laughs> thanks for caring about Connor. 59% of Americans think you should be paid extra for a leap day because this story points out that if you work on salary, you're technically working today for free. And again, 59% of Americans think leap years, you should get paid a small percentage more for an extra day. How many farmers grow salary these days? Oh, brilliant. Thanks. You're on fire today. Uh, thanks for your support. Yeah. I'm watching the Kong versus Godzilla. I'm watching Sydney Sweeney. Shocking. <laughs> yeah. What, what is she do? doing? Just walking around? Just Looks bounce, like she won the Golden Globes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's funny, man. You're uh, on it today. Thanks for your support. Yeah. <laughs> your bra's doing plenty of that. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Just me. Uh, if Rosie's <laughs> listening, shout out to Mark Rosen because today, because it's... Uh, Feb 29, it's 229. Hooters is giving loyalty members select appetizers for just $2.29. Oh, wow. And of course, it's a family establishment, so if Nick is in town, they probably should go there before they go see a movie. Paul, your hands up. That preposterous statement lost. It got its ass kicked. It got its ass kicked. I mean, I yeah. just don't understand yeah. the voters. What, what beat it, you know? Uh, Conor McGregor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, yeah, to beat him up. It's the most, fr- one of the Rosie's most fraudulent sayings ever i believed him it's so layered in fraudulence yeah it's preposterous he loves that place yep but he blamed it on his kid and then he said it's a family establishment he just used to go because nick wanted to go and that was where all families went before movies Mm -hmm. yeah he also liked a place called tots and tushies (laughs) (laughs) what'd they do there (laughs) to serve children's meals oh yeah Yeah. don't be weird rosie yeah what are you talking about a new study found that men are more likely than women to quote, let themselves go and gain weight after they get married. Amen, brother. <laughs> yeah, what's the problem? 
Yeah. I guess would you have guessed that or not? Would you have guessed women let themselves go or men let themselves oh, go more? Dudes for sure. I would I guess I don't I don't yeah, uh, dudes I for sure. Yeah. I don't know. I mean if you're asking like a real question. I'd have been I, I, I would have, have said, said women. close. But it's apparently it's men. Men are slightly more likely to uh, quote let themselves go I and think, gain weight. I think you hear more about women having having children and not being able to lose the weight. Versus dudes just drinking beer in the garage and gaining weight. Men, Mus- men oh. are. Oh, that's mussy. mean. Men were that's about the treadmill guys. Men were about five percent more likely to become <laughs> overweight within five years of marriage compared to if they stayed single, and three percent more likely to become obese within five that's years like, of getting married. It, three and five percent. It's basically what fif- if you were 50, obese 50. before you got married. Oh shoot, guys! All right, I gotta go. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Get, I forgot. I gotta like. I gotta get back in the practice. swing of things. Love you guys. Bye, man. Uh, I'll see you Monday. Yes, you Hell will. yeah. Uh, Zacho, good luck. Thank you, sir. Just go Howard Dean on the bit. Howard It'll Dean. be great. I think it's yeah, got to be Max scream. Energy. We're going to be Nashville. We're going to be St. Louis. All right. Yeah. Okay. That'll, That'll make no sense played. because both of those games would have been. Yeah. Stop drinking. Yeah. Already. Yeah, but it's about the playoffs. You know, uh, just, just go for it, will you? Just yeah. go, go for it. it. Just go for it. Just go for it, Zacho. Corey Feldman said, go for it. All right, I do you love his entire I catalog. Can't wait. He's coming here this summer. You going to see him? Is he playing the Fillmore? He's uh, playing Somerset Amphitheater. Who is? Corey, Corey Feldman, Feldman is yeah. at some festival? I think he's opening for... Uh, Kevin Costner? Somebody. Kevin Costner? Yeah. Doesn't he have a band? What's that band called, Hawk? Brad- Bradley Cooper's Thermal Ring. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, that's it. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> opening for Limp Bizkit. Is he really? Yeah. Limp Biscuits bringing Corey Feldman out on tour. What day of the week is that show? How do we get Corey Feldman on this show? Seven sixteen. There's no way he's coming on this show. Uh, Swartz and knows him really well. We could talk. talk to him we could talk Goonies. We could talk Gremlins. Computers, virtual reality. Yeah, Swartz and knows him really well. It's a Tuesday night. Hmm. How old do you think he is? One hundred and three. I think he's my age. Well, though, I was going to say, yeah. like, like, if Goonies came out in eighty four or eighty five, he was probably what twelve at that point. Yeah. Maybe 13? Yeah. So that'd be exactly my age. Let's see. So he's got to be, yeah, he's got to be early 50s, maybe 54-ish? 52. 52. There you okay. go. You got Holy it. Holy moly, look at that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, 64 years ago today in 1960, the first Playboy Club opened up featuring waitresses and bunny outfits in Chicago. Yeah. It's just outside Chicago. I've been there. Really? Yeah, I it's have. in... Uh... Lake Geneva. Yeah. Wisconsin. By East Troy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What is it now? Just a uh, restaurant and like dinner club? I mean. It's like a golf course and. Um, yeah. Like fancy camping, yeah. I think. Believe it or not, for a while, this is random trivia that I just happened to know. It was a recording studio and Skid Row recorded their first record there. Really? Yeah. And in one of the rooms, they turned them into uh, recording studios. Do they, if, if you don't know that that's the. Former Playboy uh, Playboy Club, do they advertise it in any way? Is there pictures on the wall? Is it a Hall of Fame kind of a situation? Or is it just, let's pretend it was never a Playboy Club? Well, I'll just say, back in the day, it had real thick carpet, and now there's no carpet at mm. all. Oh, man, that's you can tell the difference? That's like in the 70s? Yeah. The yeah. times, they yeah. are a-changing. Yeah. I think that's what that song's about. Yeah, and it it smells funny in there. I didn't know that. So of the room. Son of the room. <laughs> Oh, I still don't get it, but I'm going to pretend I I'll tell you. So, but you said it's, you know, it's kind of like a, let's say it's like a normal supper club and stuff, right? It now. feels like an old, I mean, it, it yeah, feels like, like a country was, club. Yeah, yeah. 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 But it's uh, cool. Rosie claims it's a, fab, a family establishment and Nick just loves the food there. So they, a lot of yeah. times when they're in Lake Geneva, they'll go to the Playboy Club just to get something to eat before they go see a movie. Do you know the story yeah. about Rosie being there? And they he threw, has been there. They threw him out because uh, he was drinking the, uh, drinking the pool water. Oh, oh, that's not good for you. Not Chlorine at all. That's what I told him. Chlorine is him. not good. Now, he didn't like it, but Nick thought it was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. He was only drinking the bath water and the pool water because <laughs> no. Nick told him I to. Believe it's, him. it's a family resort. Are... It's like, uh, it's like it Disney. <laughs> very similar to yeah, Disney. Yeah, same thing, man. <laughs> I believe you, Rosie, wherever you're at yeah, these but days. He, he can't did you just... find out what quote destroyed it? How did it, how did it get its ass kicked? I'll tell you. That should have been one of the winners. Your attitude is... Great today. Uh, do you guys want to hear uh, some other stuff that I've got a lot? Go. Okay. Um, so apparently they throw a lot of ice cream parties on cruise ships. Do you have any idea why? No. I 
Let me think. Is it guessable? It kind of, when I say it, you're going to understand why it would have been guessable. Ice cream parties on cruise ships. Yeah. Why do they throw a lot of ice cream parties on yeah. cruise ships? Is it to make sure all the kids are on the boat? Nope. Is it for a head count? Nope. Is it kid related though? It is not. Oh. It's, it's exactly is there, the is exact it gross? opposite. It's kind of, not really kind of, but it does make you feel weird about if, it. If it's the exact opposite, is it some kind of alcohol um, no. leveling off? Like nope. a way to get sober? Is it stomach, gastro? Nope. Is it I mean, uh, to no idea battle they, seasickness? They need to make room in the freezer oh. for dead bodies. Uh, that's if you're on a cruise, wait a minute for a number of days, and they have multiple ice cream parties. According to somebody who works on cruise ships, wait a minute. It's because they need to make room in the freezer, so they're getting rid of the ice cream. Ugh, yuck. Speaking of Corey Feldman, it's almost exactly like the corpse. That is in the freezer in the basement of the Fratellis. Yeah. Chunk goes in there just because he loves Rocky Road. Yeah. Yeah. Ro -ro. And then he goes, it's the stiff. Yeah. And then the corpse falls on him. Uh, that's so gross. How about that? Hmm? So that's incredible. Out. That's pretty gross. That's really gross. That's, that's super it, it's gross. It's not really because I'm How sure they don't just lay them in there on top of the ice cream. Quite a few. Well, think about it. I mean, cruise yeah. ships are loaded with a lot of older people that yeah. have sure. money and, and time. Oh. So they jump on a cruise ship. If I'm on a cruise ship and somebody in my family dies, I am definitely weekend at burning them for the rest of the cruise. Yeah. yeah but correct. the ice cream's going to make you feel better. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Yeah, no I don't I mean. need to freeze them. <laughs> I just want ice cream. Yeah. And so does Bernie over here. Oh. Hold your hands up. <laughs> uh, Rosie lost on uh, the preposterous statement tournament two. Adam Thielen, when he said, I wanted to go on signing with the Panthers, I wanted to go somewhere I felt that I could win a Super Bowl. Yeah, I can, that, that, that yeah, is, but, yeah, that's pretty, I mean, come on. It uh, turned out to be crazy preposterous. We thought it was preposterous at the time. It turned out to be epically preposterous because they finished with the worst record. Plus, but I it, believe Rosie. But I, I believe Thielen more. <laughs> yeah. I truly do. If you ask me who, who was telling more of the truth. Thielen. Thielen. Because Thielen might have been like, hey, if Bryce Young's the real deal... Maybe we got something here. Maybe in the next year or two or three. Maybe not this year, but in the next two or three years, maybe Bryce can get us there. Yeah. I believe him way more than Rosie going to Hooters because it was a family establishment before a movie. And Agree Nick to disagree. To go. I believe Rosie. <laughs> the planned execution no of a convicted killer in Idaho was stopped Wednesday after medics were unable to establish an IV for the lethal drugs. Medics made eight attempts to start an IV on Thomas Creech. To no avail. Poor Thomas. Oh, no, don't say that. The Idaho Department of Corrections wardens then stepped in to stop the execution. Creech was convicted of five murders in three states oh. and also killed an inmate, which led to the death sentence. I'll kill him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now, yeah, again, try. shouldn't there be a law where it's like, if you can't find an IV within eight attempts, yeah. can't you just pull out a gun and shoot him? Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, yeah. right. What's the matter how you kill him? Get rid Hello. of him. Right? Yeah. Someone's <laughs> got to do that, though. Yeah. I'm sure there are volunteers. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, of course. Sure. Ask sure the family a, members. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet there's a couple family members, right? Um, the Minnesota State High School League and the Rochester Area Officials Association are seeking sports officials and umpires for spring sports. Uh, for softball, baseball, boys and girls lacrosse, track and field, and boys volleyball. Those interested in becoming an umpire should sign up online at um, raoamn.org. There is a massive shortage. Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. And uh, wasn't well, that why, Zacho, they were playing some of these football games on like Tuesdays? Yeah. Saturdays yeah. was, uh, was yeah. a big day for mm -hmm. football this year. And, for, and that sucks because you're like one of the best things I remember from high school, being a high school student, was going on a Friday night you to are a football correct. game. And I, I yeah. can't imagine like, oh, boy, are you guys going to be there at 11 a.m. on a Saturday? No. Great. Well, this is a direct overlap, right? Everybody that I know that's involved in youth sports, and every time we talk about this, it's the same thing. Is They say the hardest thing about youth sports is the parents, yeah. right? Yeah, the right. reason why you have an, an official shortage is parents, or officials, excuse me, are tired of correct. getting yelled at yeah, of by drunken, terrible, idiot parents. Yeah. So they're making, you know, minimum wage, essentially, to get right. yelled at by randos uh, uh, for a game bad. that matters to a lot of people, but in the large scheme of things, doesn't really matter. Not to somebody that's just trying to do their right. best. Correct. They're yeah. not trying to ruin your kid's high school you career. They're trying to do their best. No. Well so, said, Corliss. I don't know. I just think it's so dumb. I'm getting really tired of sports. You sports. Zach, shut up. What are you saying? You said, but you make sad hockey. Again, I use sports. I'm just, I'm... It's so you, it sucks, man. It so sucks. If, if you were, a, if you were a parent right now, you would say, don't play hockey. 
it's not worth playing hockey. So you're saying let's not play hockey? Why are you saying at that at the youth level? Because it's so awful. No, it's the greatest thing ever. Like, all right, I, parents, it, you wait, guys are disasters. So everybody, say it with me: Die, kids, play not hockey, play yeah. hockey. No, I'm fine. Go play hockey and make sure you do uh, a camp. Make sure your kid never stops playing hockey because God, what they're going to make the NHL. What are you doing? Zach, just take the rest of the week off. Yeah, they're going to pull this away from you. Yeah, they're going to change their mind so. and give it to Young yeah, Gravy. I don't think uh, I don't think so. They're going to oh. give it to Sober Young Gravy. He's sober now? Sober Young Gravy. Good for him. Uh, he's, he's got a kid on the way, man. He's got to be He's got to be uh, sober for that. Yeah, yeah, got to be... Uh, yeah, like be, all uh, parents are. Yeah, correct. Be, uh, that, yeah, that's what all parents have done. 100%. Why do you think Jeff Lambert started drinking? Oh, leave my dad alone. <laughs> he's gone through enough with hockey. Yeah, he, was, yeah, he sure has. I, he, he was I sober. Him badly last night. He I had thought, never oh, had a drop of alcohol until, what, 1982? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then just hit the, At the hospital hard. bar. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. didn't even have one <laughs> until he started it. Yeah. He's probably right yeah. in the maternity ward. Adele is uh, postponing her Las Vegas residency. The singer took to Instagram Tuesday to announce she's pushing back the remaining weekends of her residency because uh, doctors said she needed rest for her voice. Will she oh. be there when we're in Vegas? No, we looked it up. She will not. She will not. <laughs> no. no. Have you guys looked ahead and seen if there's any cool shows outside of the wild on Friday night? In Vegas against the Knights. Scorpions on Thursday. Yeah, Scorpions. That's are you guys I going? About. I might. Where are might. they playing? Uh, right at Plain Hollywood. What's the bit? Oh, oh, the Sphere. What? I'm looking to see who's at the Sphere. I was thinking out They've loud, man. They've got... <laughs> what if it was the Sphere experience thing, but... Yeah, I'm not going to that. Well, you don't need to. Yeah, we've already been experienced. Um, the I'm Sphere. Like, uh, when are we going? April 10th through the 13th. That's right. Thanks to our friends at Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Website crash. Dune Part 2 is looking to jumpstart the box office this weekend. The film is expected to bring in $170 million worldwide in its first weekend. In should years. I quickly watch the yeah, first one? you should. It's good. Yeah, I think it's, you'll really it does like it. seem like the kind of movie I would like. Yeah. Would I like it? I doubt it. No, I think you might. I, I haven't even seen one, it. The second one, did you know that Austin Butler is the bad guy? I didn't know that till uh, just now. Yeah. No, no, yeah, he is. Yeah. I didn't know he that. He is really yeah. bad. I like that guy. Zach. So bad. I like that guy. Zach, turn your mic off until oh, Sunday Tesla. at 6. Tesla's going to be there, Hawk. Are you kidding House me? House of Blues. Oh, you guys okay. should go. I'm definitely going to that. Yeah, I love they're... that band. I Don do. I love Dockin's band. going to be lifting weights at Excalibur. <laughs> Dockin Lift, man. I'm telling you, great company. <laughs> Uh, Tesla CEO Elon Musk says the electric automaker plans to start shipping its Roadster sports car next year. Uh, Musk said the design was a collaboration between Tesla and his rocket company, SpaceX. Uh, he also said the luxury vehicle will be capable of going zero to 60 in less than a second. Holy balls. Wow. They're <laughs> unreal. Sweet. How do you My even? God. I don't know. Look up the videos that online. That seems too fast. Yeah, They're it's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, it looks fast, but it's it's hard to uh, equate that in your brain, man. Do you, you guys need to wear a Hans device with yeah, no that thing? We might have to. Uh, do you guys see the Naked Gun reboot with uh, Liam Neeson is scheduled now for July 2025? You remember, really? Uh, Liam when Neeson. They, when they were first talking about that, it was going to be the guy from uh, The Hangover. Ed Helms. Yeah, Ed Helms, yeah. I think Liam Neeson fits better. Not That'd just be because yeah. his name is dangerously close yeah, to correct. Leslie Nielsen. Yeah. It's a dramatic actor that transitions into comedy. That's yeah, exactly what great. Leslie Nielsen yeah. did. Man. I think Liam Neeson would be good at that, right? Yeah. I sure, we'll go see it. God, is I our guy so. connected to it? I don't Proft. know. I sure hope so. I, I just hope it's good because yeah. the Naked Gun movies are awesome. Awesome. Oh, they're the best. They're awesome. Just like just across the board, man. I can just name line after line after and line. And even the dumb jokes still make me laugh when you're right. like, okay, th again, these are smart people that are intentionally making just a super dumb joke just to make you laugh. Yeah. Right? They're not trying to blow you away. But then once in a while, it's some crazy clever jokes. Yeah. They can do it all, those guys. I love it. I so love funny. It. Good luck to Liam Neeson. Speaking of reboots, I didn't know they were redoing this, and this sounds awful. A uh, trailer yesterday dropped for the remake of Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, a no movie kidding. I've seen no less than 36 times. Oh, man. Yeah. Elizabeth Shue, right? No, no uh, uh, Christina Applegate. Always, uh, uh, is it? Yeah. Is it? No, it's not. No, it? it's Elizabeth Shue. It's Elizabeth Shue. Christina Applegate. No, you're thinking of Adventures in Babysitting. Oh. This is Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. 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 This is the one where the babysitter dies, and then while her mom's out of town, uh, Sue Ellen Crandall is her name. I don't know. Oh, do Again, know I've seen that? it 36 times. 
Um, she starts her own fashion line. That and then has sense. a huge party at her house, and then her mom shows up when the, the models are basically walking down the runway. Name one more character. Pasta Bologna. Uh Jim Varney. Oh. I just want to see if he could. <laughs> we got to go. Show's over. <laughs> the hell is her boss's name, that Bye, gal? Bye, everybody. Marty Gellner. My day's ruined. Everybody have a wonderful day. KFAN Total Traffic. From the Quick Trip Traffic Center, here's a look at the roads. Accident on the right shoulder, 35E northbound at County Road E. March is on. The 2024 TIAA Big Ten Basketball Tournaments take over Minneapolis as the Target Center hosts the annual celebration of Big Ten hoops. The women's tournament runs March 6th through the 10th, and the men's tournament tips off March 13th through the 17th. Tickets are on sale now, so head to Big10.org for more information. Be there this March as the conference's best teams compete for a Big Ten tournament title in Minneapolis. More kids. People are using CBD for many reasons. Chris Hockey tried cultivated CBD. You should try cultivated CBD because it could help you in ways you never dreamed of. That's what happened for me. I never dreamed CBD would do for me what it's done. Learn more at cultivatedcbd.com. Comedy Central's Insomniac. Well, David Tell's coming to Treasure Island Resort and Casino Friday, April 26th. Get your tickets to see David Tell at... Are you looking for ways to elevate your business through premium headwear and apparel? At Branded Bills, we focus on attention to detail, in-person customer experience, and quality craftsmanship to provide a finished, customized product for any occasion. Our core belief is to create out-of-the-box products that enhance the value of your personal brand or business. We offer low minimum orders, unique design and applications and completed custom products in as quick as two weeks to find out more visit brandedbills.com donate your car today donate your car today at carsforkids.org your car running or not can be picked up as soon as the next day 